Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to complete the Jiukum Shrine here in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So as soon as you enter the shrine, the first thing we're going to do is work our way down these stairs and we want to connect these two metal plates. Now, once you connect them, we're going to use Ultra Hand to pick them up and then we'll rotate them to the side so that we can sit them on these rails. And once you put them down, they're going to automatically start moving, but you'll have plenty of time to jump on top of them. And once you do, you can just ride your way to the bottom. Now we're going to go ahead and pick these up. It doesn't matter if you use these two, it'll just save you a couple seconds, but we want to take three plates and put them together. You can either put all three of these that are already down here together, or you can just pick one up and add it to the plates that we already used. And we're just going to use this to create a platform on these beams here. And then we're going to come over here and grab the two sided plate that spawns. And we're going to use this as a ramp to get up to this chest. So you can just drop it on the top here. And once you drop it, you can just run up top and grab the chest. And inside, you're going to get yourself an elixir. So we'll go ahead and grab that sticky elixir that'll come in clutch later on. Uh, not in the shrine, but just in the future of the game. Uh, but once we jump back down, we're going to take this two sided plate off and we're going to take the three that we have connected and we're going to separate them. And essentially what we want to do here is create one square with two plates, one on each side. So you guys can see how we're going to rotate this. We'll put one sticking up on this side and we're going to take another plate and stick it up on the other. And essentially what we're going to do is turn this thing upside down. And you guys can see me struggle with the rotation process here. But you basically just want to turn this upside down so that it sits on top of these rails and doesn't fall off. So you can see I finally got it rotated right. And I'm trying to figure out how to put it on the rails. Uh, you can just rotate it once again and drop it on there. I'd move it close to the edge so you don't have to wait for a while as it moves super slow at the beginning. But once you hop on top and you get downhill a little bit, it'll take off and you'll make it all the way to the bottom, no issue. So we'll just ride this as close as we can get. If you don't make it all the way, you can jump across or if you just want to drop down, there's some stairs down there. But we're just going to work our way up these stairs and now we need to make another cart. So we're going to use two regular squares originally here on the longer metal plate. We're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to put one on each side, except this time we're going to take our third plate and we're going to put this in the middle and you guys will see why here in a second. So get this as close to the middle as you can. And once you do, we're going to rotate it upside down like we just did. And on each side, we're going to drop these inside of our rails. So you can see it'll fall perfectly. And then the bottom plate is going to lean against that little middle section to keep it from falling backwards. Now, once you have it on there, we just need to add three fans. So we'll come over here and grab these fans. It doesn't need to be perfect. Just put one on each side. This is just going to be used to get us up the hill on the track so that we can get to the end of the shrine. We'll go ahead and put one on each side. And once you do, we can hop on there and hit the fans and off we go. So the middle uh, section was used for right there so that it doesn't fall off, but it's also gonna be used for this part. You guys can see we kind of move on to this rail and that's gonna keep us from falling off on this one. And here you can try to jump off and fly. I'm pretty sure you can make it if you wanna just try to fly to the end of the shrine. Or if you really want to enjoy the joy ride here, you can ride it all the way to the end. It's almost like a roller coaster. It's pretty fun. If this thing's going to take you all the way to the end, you can just jump off and you made it to the end of the shrine. But this is how to complete the shrine. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. And we'll see you guys in the next video.